can't see me. Let's go. What up, what, what, what up, y'all? You can't see me here today back again. You already know what it is. Today, I'm back on Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And today, what I'm gonna do is show you the best jobs or job types that I found to make the most money of the fastest. Now, there are other jobs that make uh, more money, but they'll take you so long, you can do five or 10 of these jobs in the same amount of time. And I'm gonna show you if you want to uh, watch and see it and see how much you get for these job types. Um, or you know in a moment I just tell you and you'll you'll know what it is. But basically when you go and you get your jobs in and you look at the car status. Oh excuse me, not the car status. When you go and you go to your orders, which you can do here or you can do by going to the phone. Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Oh, right here. Or the phone in your office if you've expanded. And Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, by the way. Happy New Year, Happy 2018. Let me get that ad before I get going too much. Yeah, man, I wish everyone the best in 2018, all right? So, when you check your orders, what you need to do is look for the jobs with these gears right here, okay? And what I found is you're gonna have to grind your level up to about level eight or nine. When I went back and looked, um, you don't start getting these jobs to about level eight or nine and you may have to do a few of your story missions to get up there um, at least five or six other story missions but I saw it on level eight or nine I don't know for sure if it is because of the story mission level or not because your jobs start to increase um, and the job types as you go through the story missions you know they start you basic with like breaks and then suspension um, exhaust things of that nature but it's these gear missions right here. So the gear, gear box, anytime you see anything that has to do with a gear box, let me click. Car is hard to control, suspension. Now suspension, not so much, but this, the gear box with another job included is great. I like to include the body work. So if they have one, they're working on the body, but that's not gonna come out till later either. But the sooner you can get to these gear missions where it says gears keep sliding, repair get running gear faults, etc., the more money you will make. So I'm gonna show you, let's see which one. And it's easy, you almost don't even have to run tests. You can do them very quickly. Okay, but let me give you this other tip. Try to avoid these smaller cars when you take these missions, okay? When you see the mission if you see a smaller car don't take it because their drive shaft runs through the gearbox usually uh this car for example the car i mean the uh, engine is in the rear but this gearbox is right here and the the drive shaft or the wheel goes through it which means you're gonna have to take the tires off for most of them, you don't even have to take the tires off. You usually have to take the starter off, so some of them you may have to go in and take the starter off from the top. But for most of them, you don't have to do that. All right? So stay with me. Let me show you a couple examples. A vehicle cannot be started. Okay, I already did that. So, once, so this one with the gear. So I like the ones with the gears and the body because the body work is easy. I mean, all you got to do is take off whatever it is, the door, the fender. Okay, so I'll show you this Jeep one um, since it doesn't have anybody where it will start here first. All right, so like I'm gonna lift it up. I don't even know what it is. Now I can go and drive this on the test track and it'll give you about three or four of the gearbox issues because it lets you know about the shifting, but you really don't even need it. All you have to do, boom, you click here. You'll see that it's rusty. See it's rusty. So we know that the gearbox is always in the same place and it's always condensed. You ain't got to hunt. You don't have to look all around to figure out what it is. Now this Jeep has a little extra because you got to take this off and this off. Normally all you have to take off is this one drive shaft, which is eight screws. And once you get your screws up, it's even quicker, but watch. You just take this off, bam. 
Like I say, with this one, you gotta take off a couple extra because it's a Jeep. So I'll show you the next example because uh, it'll just be the drive shaft only. Boom, and then you just gotta take the starter off. See, some of them are accessible from the top, from the engine bay. Some aren't. Some you can take to start off from right under the car, which makes it even quicker. Uh, so boom, go around here, find the starter. I gotta go back under the car. I can take the gearbox off. Use this anywhere from like five to seven screws. Boom, that's off. Take off your clutch release bearing, the clutch pressure plate. Like I start stocking these. I think the flywheel usually costs a little bit. The flywheel, boom, now let's look at the status. Look, that's everything right there. I didn't even have to do a test to figure it out. And it'll always be that. Okay, gearbox of I4C. So boom, I go back, go to part mount. Look, I already got some in my inventory. I will go ahead and start stocking them once you save you some money. Boom. Boom. I probably just have to get the gearbox. I don't know if I had that on hand. And we'll see, I foresee, okay. And even if you don't have them in your inventory because you're trying to save money, whatever, it still don't take long to just go buy it. Oh, I, what in the world? Gearbox, ain't that what I bought? I guess I bought the wrong one. Oh, I bought I4, not I4C. Y'all was supposed to correct me and not let me buy the wrong one. But that's okay, it'll get used eventually. So boom. I mean, even with the mistake, it's quick. Got that back on. Put this transfer case back on. That's it. Whole job done. Uh, did I put the starter back on? I might have forgot to put the starter back on. Did I put the starter back on? Hmm. Gotta go from under my bed. Gotta put that starter back on. That's it, man. I can do that for me in the car. Now look at that. <clears throat> Almost four thousand dollars in profit, and it took me about six minutes, six seven minutes tops. Let me show you again. This one won't have that funky drive shaft. Now this one has body work. Let's see what this truck is. Okay, same thing. Driver struggling to find gears, repair gearbox faults, blah blah blah. Now you see, it's always gonna be like the flywheel or the pressure plate or something. So I'm gonna move this one. Uh, move it to, all you gotta do is move it straight to the car lift. Lift it up. And like I can say, if you got another job type that you like doing, when you take the order, you can do one that has a second one, but I would only either do it with just the gears with a second type in it. Oh, this one. See, these trucks got this funky thing on it. But even with that, it doesn't take that long. Normally, it's only the drive shaft. Normally, it's even quicker than this. Because I don't have that extra piece you got to take off.
start a smoke around this so that doesn't take long. I'm trying to go quick, I'm hitting stuff. Boom, then once again, you're back to the gearbox. Other things, sometimes you're trying to hunt and find the, the ones that don't show up. You're taking off engine parts, you're searching all around the tires. You gotta take the tires off, take off all these different pieces. Look, got them inventory. Know exactly what's coming. I almost don't even have to look at the, the car status thing. The bearing. Gearbox V8. I may or may not. Okay, no, I don't. Boom. Gearbox. It's like the quickest, <laughs> quick as you can find it. Gearbox V8. Mm. Expensive. Thing, thing back on, boom, the trend. Oh, I gotta replace the transfer case too. Uh, transfer case four by four. if another one has come in on the orders but I'm gonna show you the little car why I don't like doing the little car but I'm gonna see if there's one more in there that's better than that but that's basically it that should be everything I think I already put the starter back on it'll tell me if I didn't but look at that look at how much I made off this truck look at that eight thousand dollars eighty five basically and I did that in quicker than the last one in like four minutes Four minutes, I made that much money. Okay. So let's look on the orders so I can show you. Like I, I would do something like this if you're trying to get XP and money, but the gear gives you the most. Engine gives good money, but it would take you like 20 minutes, 30 minutes to do this. I made $8,500 in four minutes just now. Make sure it has that gear in it. I try to do the ones with just the gear or the gear and the body work like this one. So once again, I'm, I'm gonna show you the um, the gear part real quick, because I don't think this one will have that extra piece on it. So look, boom. Get up under here once again, you see the See the jacked up gearbox. Y'all gotta take the starter off. Yeah, I've gotten it down to a science. When you're just trying to grind up money. This isn't the best for XP. I'll find another one and let you know what's the best for XP. But this is the best to get money. Look, access to the gearbox already. in your inventory you good clutch plate pressure plate screws 
glitch very Okay, I need a V8 OVH, V8 OHV, excuse me, V8 OHV, boom, V8 OHV. Let's start it back on. And that's it that took all but two minutes and let's see how much they say I would have made already the task bonus I would already made 4270 off of that and when I finish the whole job bonus it might be another 3,000 it might be another eight thousand dollars that took me three minutes uh, with this one, I gotta just do the body work, and that, and the body work I like because it's easy too. It doesn't make a lot of money, but it's easy, especially when it's not this many parts. Uh, front left fender, front right fender, rear bumper. But the other work is already done. See, it's just this simple: front right fender, rear bumper. Put a hot dog on it. I had to look at the list a lot. I ain't got the super memory. Uh, right tail light. Left trunk tail light. Right tail light. Left trunk tail light. Front window, right body, and left body window A. So front window, right body, left body A. Body A, right body A. Rear window, front left door window, front right door window, okay. So boom, just as quickly as you can replace all of those, it gets done. So I ain't gonna finish that, I'll finish this one off camera. But once again, you see, Already 4270 was what I made. Well, I'm gonna finish it, but I want to show you this other thing first. I'm gonna show you why I don't like doing these. Avoid these small cars. Okay, avoid the small cars. We'll move it to the lifter. But look, it's only been about 15 minutes, and I've already made about what 10,000, 15,000 dollars <laughs> in like 10 minutes. Actually, the starter's probably in the way. Oh. Starter's in the trunk. I can't take the engine cover off? Okay. So. So one. Okay, so all this is accessible from under the car. But you see how the wheels run through this? That means I gotta take the wheels off just to get to the gearbox. You can't get straight to the gearbox and take it off. So that takes more time. That's why I don't like these little cars. And even if they're, even if the um, driving mechanisms is in the front, you still gotta take the wheels off first, which is a pain. It's just I'm trying to do it as fast as possible. I mean, that's all. Just trying to do it as fast as possible. Now, it still doesn't take that long, you know, but it's just an extra couple steps. You gotta take the axles off, both sides. Oh, 
So you gotta take the starter off. Where's the starter? You'll see I still make good money. Of course the little car, kinda like the smaller the car is the the less you make, but it's still good money. Okay, I need a flywheel. go ahead and stock up and I forgot what type of gearbox they had but figure that out in a moment back on. Oh, hold on. I might can save me some money and pull a swap a 68%. Yeah. Then put the tires back on. about to put one of my new ones. No, no, no. No, no, no. Tires back on. And I think that's it. Uh, maybe the starter. I always forget the starter. This is another one where I got to do body work. But even for that, 2600 already. I'm going to go back and finish this one with the old school. Let me see if there's any more jobs. These, even with the exhaust, they all right. Exhaust ain't too bad. I like it when it's just this and body work. You see, that's a boat reptilia. Okay. I'll take that one with the Corvette. always go for the gear jobs gear with the body okay so this is a boat cape front left fender front right fender rear bumper boat cape boat cape boat cape Gotta go to the body shop. Boat cake, okay, front. Right fender. What is it, the left fender as well? Rear bumper. I think it was a right tail light. Left trunk tail light. Just like all the windows. Left body A, right body A. 
um, front, rear. That might be it. May have forgotten something, but we'll see. Left front door window. Okay, I'll put on what I got so far. Front window. Body A. Rear. Right tail light. Rear bumper. Hmm, there's just them two windows. I almost remember everything. Oh, I always remember to put your license plate back on. It will remind you. Uh, so, yeah, left body window and right body window. Oh, man. Got the wrong doggone thing. Front door window. I added. They'll end up getting used on something else. I think that's everything. Let's make sure. But look at this with the bodywork included. $10,000. I made a $10,000 profit in something that basically took 10 minutes on this game. $10,000. Yeah. And I just went to level 20. Let's see what I can speed up real quick. Oh, 10% discount. Yeah, 10% discount. I get that. 5% more income. Ooh, I'll do that next. Okay, guys. So, like I said, that is the best jobs to do. The gear, any job with the gear uh, issue, a gear problem, do those jobs and you can make five ten thousand dollars in five ten minutes per job they're so easy just stock up on the parts as you gain more money and i mean you will make plenty of money very quickly in each sitting you can make twenty thirty thousand dollars easy forty fifty depending on how, how long you want to sit and play if you're trying to grind up money but it does take you to about level eight or nine so just make sure you're doing jobs and doing the story jobs to get your level up um, like I said, it may take five or six story jobs or just getting your level to that point. But do the story jobs too, all right? You can't see me sharing them tips. If you know any tips, if you know something else I missed or another job that would make uh, just as good money, let me know in the comments. Um, like I said, if you got any other advice or any just car mechanic tips in general, all right? You can't see me, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. You know what you must do above all things make your next move your best move all right peace you can't see me let's go thank you for checking me out at you can't see me tv i'm you can't see me gamer please like and subscribe to stay updated and check me out on instagram twitter and facebook all right peace